Hello, this is Randy Smith with Vicinity Manufacturing. I wanted to take a minute to share a business intelligence tool that I use on a regular basis that I think might be helpful to you. Uh, Microsoft has a tool called Microsoft Dynamics Business Analyzer, uh, specifically tied to the Microsoft Dynamics GP product. Uh, we use it regularly. We have it hooked up to our uh, Dynamics GP implementation and also into our vicinity uh, database as well. It is an application that I download from the Microsoft Store. It can also run on an iOS and Android platform. So I am running this right now on a Windows Surface. Uh, I also run it on my Windows phone, and I also have an iPad that I, that I run the application on. Uh, the purpose of the application is really to give users a, a dashboard to look at data, um, mostly graphical data, but your charts and things like that, but could it also be list type uh, reports as well. Um, so what we're looking at here is a dashboard that has been created off the demo database. Uh, if you download the application from any of the stores, you will have this as demo data so you can go look at it on your own device. Uh, so you've got kind of a main presentation area where you've got a couple of highlighted graphs that show up uh, automatically. And then if I scroll over to the right, um, I see uh, other charts that can be um, uh, put together and, and grouped in, in, in certain ways. Um, so I've got some charts and I've got some KPIs um, that have been established. Uh, I can also add uh, to this list if I want to by hitting add and going and picking up any chart that isn't on the list. I can also uh, kind of clean up my list uh, just by selecting and deselecting charts as appropriate. Now, the entire uh, process is, com is controlled um, by uh, roles and companies. So in other words, you can, your organization can set up any roles that it wants to and assign charts and KPIs to those roles. So for example, uh, a role called accounting manager may only get certain types of charts. Uh, they may not be able to see, um, uh, say, inventory charts, or they may not be able to see uh, production schedule or quality type charts, um, but they may be seeing purchasing and sales. Um, and, and so inside that module or inside that section, they have the ability to pick from any chart that has been presented into that role. Uh, a person can be part of multiple roles, as I'm seeing here. So this demo uh, user is in the accounting manager role, the CFO role, as well as the sales manager role. Those have all been exposed to this user. Uh, so I can flip back and forth between any of those roles and have a dashboard that is role specific. So as a company, I can build those roles. As larger companies have got different departments, they may choose to push out data to users uh, in a very controlled manner. Um, so we have roles uh, that you can assign users to, and then we also have companies. So for multi-company scenarios, you can uh, go pick and choose from the different companies um, that, that you have um, in your system. Now, um, all of these charts that we're seeing here can actually be sourced a number of different ways. The most straightforward or the most direct way is through SQL Server reporting services. Uh, that is actually a ships with SQL Server. Uh, so you actually have uh, the tool available um, so you can go develop your own charts. The tool to actually develop the charts looks and feels a lot like the Excel chart um, uh, um, tool uh, designer. Uh, so it's it's very intuitive, it's uh, easy to use, etc. Uh, so it's in SQL reporting services and that's, um, that's where the charts come from. It can also render charts that are embedded in Excel files as well. So you make the Excel file public uh, to the server and then it can see the charts inside that Excel file. And then they also have part of Management Reporter, uh, which is the financial statement generator within Microsoft Dynamics. Uh, that tool, it can read that data and drill into a financial statement as well. Uh, so the, there, there are a lot of different data connection points uh, that you have to pick from. Um, and it basically, it all starts around, around charts and being able to drill into charts and being able to drill in data. And more specifically, you can build these dashboards uh, that are role-based so you can create a role and it just rolls out to the user. So with that, um, uh, there's no reason not to just download the application. Um, go, go find the app in your appropriate store, 
download it. It'll, it'll load just as we're seeing here with sample data already there. You can play around with it and see what you think. Uh, when you choose to implement, there is a server side component that gets loaded that ships with Microsoft Dynamics. Uh, that's just part of your installation. And also SQL reporting services just gets loaded up. Uh, it's probably already there against uh, your SQL server installation. And that's all it takes. Hope this was helpful and uh, have a great day.